One of the nice things about using a Mac with Ruby is that Ruby is already installed on the Macintosh. So we don't have to go through an installation procedure. Instead, I can just show you how to use Ruby on a Mac. So the first thing you need to do is open a terminal window, which I've already done. Then to use Ruby in its interactive state, you type IRB. And that should bring up a prompt. And with that prompt, I can type an expression, such as 1 plus 2, or a command such as put S hello world. So that's how you use Ruby interactively. We can also write programs in Ruby using the Mac. So the first thing let's do is let's quit interactive Ruby. And then we'll write a quick program. And you can use any text editor that you want to. I'm going to use Nano. It's the one I like the most. And we'll call this hello world.rb. So we'll essentially do the same thing we did before. We'll do an expression. Let's go ahead and print it instead. Just for fun, print a new line. And then we'll put S, hello world. I'll leave the H lowercase. And then we'll save. So we'll do control O. We've already named it hello world.rb, so I'll hit enter for the file name to write. Then we'll control X. And then to run a Ruby program or a Ruby script, we type Ruby and the name of the script. And notice that the script name has to end in an RB. We'll talk more about that in a future lesson, but just for now, keep that in mind. So if I type Ruby space hello world.rb and hit enter or return, it displays the expression one plus two and hello world that I write out. So those are really all the instructions you need for using Ruby with a Macintosh. So with that, we're ready to move on to the next lesson.